You're all done? Did it go smoothly? I see. Let's find Helmmaster Yukong. We'll accompany you. We're here to help, but she and I really shouldn't interject when you're conversing with your mother. Hmm. It's okay. I understand. Just having you stand next to me is already a great help, benefactors. When mom feels down, she usually goes to take in a view of the Jade Gate. She should still be there. Let's go find her. Mom? Ching Ni? Why are Mr. Yang and they here too? Miss Ching Ni kindly agreed to show us around Star Skiff Haven. She mentioned she was trying to mend things between you, but was feeling shy about it. We volunteered to come with her. Thank you. I must apologize for the trouble my daughter has brought you. Mom! All right, it's getting late. Let's talk once we're home. Actually, I want to talk to you about something right now. I want to become a fighter pilot, no matter what. <sighs> We've talked about this many times. No means no. Uh, but... Seems like Miss ching -Ni is a little hesitant. Uh, try giving her a little push. I thought Mr. Yang said we shouldn't interject. What should I say? Is that... Sai's diary? How did you... I understand now. I'm sorry, Ching Ni. I cannot support your dream because I made a promise to someone else. I don't expect to gain your forgiveness. I, I just hope you can understand my reason. Mom, what are you talking about? I'm your daughter. <laughs> Our bond is bigger than forgiveness and reason. I'll listen to anything you have to say. Just like you, I once longed for the sky. I know what it feels like to fly through infinite space, to be surrounded by the vast expanse of nothingness with unimaginable splendors looming in the distance to float like a single leaf in the fathomless stellar sea some called it loneliness but we called it freedom sai was like that too we're friends since childhood we flew star skiffs everywhere causing trouble until the knights caught us and dragged us before general jingyuan 
we soon became the most elite fighter pilots of the Skyfaring Commission. It wasn't an easy life. You could even say it was a cruel one. You never knew if the friend next to you would make it back alive. Of course, the same could be said of yourself. But those are my best memories. You would strike out into the sky, repelling demons and upholding justice. The blood we shed bore witness to it all. The life of a Foxian is short and fleeting. Surely we should dedicate ourselves to such glorious aims. Ah, oh, system space all clear today. Great weather for flying. <laughs> We're engaging the main Boris and fleet this time. Don't get too excited. Huh? Sounds like maternity leave knocked the wind out of your sails. Feeling rusty? Oh, shut it. I think you're just excited because you haven't flown with me for so long. Did you miss me? Of course I missed you. The galaxy felt smaller without you in my cockpit. Say, Sai, really didn't think you'd come back. Do you really like flying star skiffs that much? <laughs> you bet. Sure, it's exhausting, dangerous, low paid. <laughs> Plus, you only get back to the Lafu a few times a year. But given the choice, I'd always pick this. I guess I already touched the sky. The mind is mysterious. I've lived for more than 200 years, forgotten nearly every conversation I've ever had. But I still remember us shooting the breeze that day. It's crystal clear. It was the last time I spoke to Tsai. <laughs> Sai? Hold on, Sai. Sai, open your eyes. Sai. Thank you. You go. I... I've had a good life. But please... Don't let Jinni walk the same path. Don't let her... become... a fighter pilot. Sorry, she's your daughter. You'll be able to tell her yourself, do you hear? The rescue's almost here. Stay with me. Jing Ni is waiting for you. She lost Guang Yen. She can't afford to lose you, too. Wake up! Dai! Dai! out of the burning carcass of the star skiff. I looked up into a clear sky, pure and seemingly unadorned by the atmosphere that arced far above us. It was the most beautiful sky I had ever seen. But all I could feel was unbearable pain. I sunk to the ground and gazed up helplessly. In my dream, that was the day I died. Mom, this is the first time I've heard you talk about this. But I'm not a little girl anymore. The road of a fighter pilot is a cruel one. I know that now. But I won't hide from it. I'm not afraid to walk the same road as her. If my sacrifice can bring happiness to the citizens of the Sienjo, then I'm ready for it. You are so very similar to Tsai. 
the more outstanding you became over the years, the more fearful I turned. I've known for a long time you were ready, but I was not. No, the cruelty has never claimed victory. Me, Sai, your father, Guangyan. We were prepared for the worst when we enlisted. But do you know how we won that war? The war that took away Sai and the lives of hundreds of thousands of fighters. The Rainbow Arbiter's Define Arrow. Yes. The mighty blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter annihilated all abominations in a single strike. We had to pay with the blood of hundreds of thousands of soldiers just to halt their advance. If crushing our enemies was as easy as breathing for the Rainbow Arbiter, then what purpose did our sacrifices serve? Under the might of an eon, the sacrifices of ordinary creatures are but a joke. We are nothing. We mean nothing. Mom. But I never should have allowed my fears to compel me to make decisions for another person. <laughs> Even if that person is my daughter, I brazenly interfered with your choices. I am sorry. That is my failure as a mother. Mom, you don't need to apologize. Really. You don't need to. I'll take you to fill in the paperwork tomorrow. You'll start as ground crew, just like Tsai and I did. I believe that one day, you'll make an outstanding fighter pilot. <gasps> huh? Really? <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was afraid of you following in my footsteps, and more afraid of you taking after Tsai. But if this is your choice, then I'm willing to support you, even if you live to regret it. Mom, I have one last request. Tell me. I want to... Fly with you at least once. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't. I won't be flying anymore. But why? Because I already touched the sky. What brings you here? This bomb. Did Ting Yun pick it out for me? She understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. Thirty years ago, I fought in a terrible war. My comrade and I set sail together. But only I returned. The scars of that war never truly healed. Still, the Law Fu traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. I felt tired of voyaging, like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. 
I hid away in the Skyfaring Commission and buried myself in work, never wanting to see the sky again. Despite rising to Helmmaster, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant, always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice, even if she was my subordinate. She never fought alongside me on the battlefield, but in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the Guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. I used to think that the Xian Zhou had changed with the times. Geniuses like Ting Yun were the future for the Skyfaring Commission's next generation. They would bring prosperity to the Law Fu. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. I was wrong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out, will I become useless to the Xianzhou. The Xianzhou needs people like me, those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. The Starskiff is ready for the ceremony now. Everyone, please place your objects aboard the Starskiff. Wait! Wait for me! Miss Ting Yun prepared a gift. Gift for me. As a fellow Amicassador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. Yan Ming, what is it that you've prepared? I. I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but it has a deeper meaning. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars. For her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy. <laughs>